So, um, once the game starts, you're going to be moving around. Now you can only speed walk in this game. Okay, there's no running. Um, so when you are speed walking, you're going to hear me call out a color. So I might call out purple, I might call out blue, or red, or green. If I call out your color, that means you guys are the dog catchers for that round which means you need to catch everybody else who's not in your color and bring them back to your mat. Hey everyone, it's Chris from Flaghouse. I'm here this week with Laura Hastings to look at some great games you can play for the K-2 age group. Yeah, these K-2 games were designed with our younger students in mind, but are great at any age. They have easy, simple instructions. Awesome, so we've got these great K-2 games coming up next. And if you like games and activities like this, please subscribe to our channel. We have new videos every single Wednesday. Cut up next, it's K-2 Games on the Flaghouse Activity Channel. All right, in today's episode, we have some great K-2 games, but they can be adapted for really any age group. We're gonna be playing our first game today. It's called Spaghetti and Meatballs, and we're gonna be using our Dino Skin Balls and some noodles. All right, your job is to try and knock the meatballs off the plates, okay? You two, the rest of us, we're trying to get the meatballs back onto the plates. All right, so you don't have a designated spot to stand. You're just gonna be all around the room, picking up the meatballs, putting them back on the plates, and these two are gonna be running around, knocking them off your plates, all right? And then we'll switch it up after a couple seconds, okay? On your mark, get set, go! Uh-oh, they're pretty fast. Okay, freeze. Oh, you're putting those meatballs back? Oh, where'd all the meatballs go? Lots of different ways to adapt the game, change it up, have some fun. That's spaghetti and meatballs. All right, our next game is a really fun K-2 game that can be adapted as well. Um, it's a tag game, so it's called Wolf Cage. So we need two people to start in our rectangle wolf cage in the middle, okay? Here's the, the rules for wolf cage. As you can see, they have their rectangle in the middle. That's their cage, okay? Anywhere from the wall all the way to the other wall and inside the cones, they have to stay. They cannot come outside of those cones. Your job, when we say go, you're gonna try and get to the other side of the cones without getting tagged, okay? Now, it's kind of like octopus, yep, yeah, but you keep going back and forth so that it doesn't stop. You don't, yep, yeah, you don't stop at that side. As soon as you get to the other side, you can run back through. All right, if you get tagged, okay, below the shoulders, right? We never tag on the head or the face, okay? If you get tagged gently, you're gonna go grab a noodle and now you are a wolf as well. All right, set, wolf cage. So this is where we're gonna add on a little bit more, okay? So if it gets to this point where there's a ton of wolves in the cage and only a few people on the outside, I'm gonna yell out alpha wolf, which means just the two original wolves that were in there, okay? You guys can come out of the cage. Ooh, he's gonna be brave. All right, so that was Wolf's Cage with minimal equipment. All you need is cones and some noodles. Have some fun. All right, guys, our next game is called Dog Pound. All you need is a couple cones, some mats, and if you don't have um, pennies, we already have our colored shirts on, so we're good to go. So uh, we're gonna go to our mat. So if you're green team, you're gonna head, up, head over there. Purple, blue, and red over here. So, um, once the game starts, you're gonna be moving around. Now you can only speed walk in this game, okay? There's no running. Um, so when you are speed walking, you're gonna hear me call out a color. 
So I might call out purple, I might call out blue, or red, or green. If I call out your color, that means you guys are the dog catchers for that round, which means you need to catch everybody else who's not in your color and bring them back to your mat. You have to tag them gently below the shoulders and grab them, link their arms. You guys know how to link arms? Yeah, and you're gonna bring them back to their mat, to your mat, sorry. All right, you can start walking around, speed walk. You never know what color I'm gonna call though, so you might not wanna hang out too close to anybody. <laughs> hmm. Dog catchers for this round. Red team! Walking! Oh, we got four dogs caught. Oh, yep. If you get tagged, you stop. Bring her in. Bring her in. Yeah, go, Sage. Whoa, Declan, you got caught. All right, we're gonna change it up a little bit. We're gonna change it up a little bit. This time, instead of speed walking, you can only skip. Okay. The dog catchers this time around is the green team. You gotta take her in, you gotta take her in. You gotta take her in if you tag her. All right, so that was Dog Pound, the last game of our K to two games that you can really adapt for any age level with minimal equipment, large group, small group, simple, easy instructions, good for a cool down or a warm up. Have some fun. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give us a like, share, or comment to let us know how we're doing. Now go ahead and click over here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. We have a new video every Wednesday. Click over here to see more of our videos or down here to get great downloadable activity guides. See you next time on the Flag House Activity Channel.